go through the course content feature in My Open Math. So if you scroll down to your course content area, this is again where the homework is and videos. Uh, let's go ahead and select Chapter 10 for this one. Um, often it's organized where it tells you what you're expected to learn at the beginning. Um, and then it has the sections with all of the videos and homework. And then at the end is usually where the quizzes are. This class actually has a practice quiz. Um, anything that's due, you can use a late pass if your instructor allows it. It'll actually show a little link right there, and you can use that late pass feature. Anytime you click on something and there's a timer, um, like this one, there's a 60 minute time limit, it'll let you know before you begin. That way, if you don't have 60 minutes to spend on this, you don't have to start it right now. You can come back and do that later. So let's open a section here. This particular section has the topics uh, listed here and then the homeworks at the end. So let's click on a topic. It is organized where it has a video and then um, you would attempt a question uh, based on the video and, and see how it goes. So once you watch the video and you want to go and uh, enter your answer, sometimes a little yellow arrow pops up. That's a math quill. It helps you enter your answers mathematically. So like if I wanted to use the radical feature, I can use that. And then it'll show you what you could have entered um, without using the math quill feature. This particular question actually gave you that as a hint, um, but it's a nice little feature that a lot of students find helpful. If you go through and answer the question and you can't get it, you'll notice sometimes they have um, a message instructor about this question link. If you click that, it'll pull the question you're working on and send it to you, your instructor in a message, which is really helpful. Um, that way they know exactly what you're working on and they can help you and you can just send that off to them. That's not always the case. I pulled up a different example where um, this particular question has a post question to forum link. Uh, this is common in an online math class. So it does the same thing. It pulls your question, but this time it's going to post it into a forum um, that everybody can then see your question and the instructor's response. It's really useful if you're in an online class and you're working over the weekend and you don't want to wait for your instructor to respond. Uh, this way, if the instructor's already answered this question for somebody else, you could go look at their answer and, and hopefully work through your problem then. You can access the forums up here at the top. Let's go ahead and jump into one. Um, and then find the question that you were working on. Oh, okay, there it is, number four. And as you can see, the question got posted, and then the instructor responded. And then hopefully this response will allow you to work on the question and um, get through it without needing to uh, wait for the instructor to respond to your individual message. I wanted to point out that sometimes... Um, you may want to see the instructions for the questions and uh, right here I actually had already had it highlighted where it says show intro and instructions it'll tell you what the instructor maybe told you right before starting the assignment so uh, if you forgot or you feel like it has an important link that you might want to look at and use um, there you go you can access it right from there another important feature I want to show you this is a different course it's organized a lot different this one has the objectives and then here it actually has the textbook links and then the sections are right here short chapter um, this one has the videos set up as links uh, so if you click on this hyperlink it'll take you to YouTube but if you click on the little plus sign it'll actually pull the video right here into mom you could watch it finish it, um, go ahead and hit the minus sign, gets rid of it, and go to the next video. And you can watch that video and, and go through and work on it. Um, so that's kind of nice that you can watch the videos from there. So sometimes instructors have it set up that way. One more thing I want to show you is often instructors might have video links that are hints for the individual problem. So if you're working on a question and it says video, uh, it'll actually give you specific information for that problem that you could look at and um, help you get through the question.